Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And it's decorating time. We're gonna decorate our ring binder journal. So um basically what I do at this point is I just start flipping pages and thinking, okay, does something need to be here or does something need to be here? And I think here in the front, um y'all, this is ridiculous. I have this whole box of cards. There's vintage cards in here. There's every kind of card you can think of. So I do want to put some kind of card here. So let me just go through here and find something that I like. These are cute. They, you have to match the cards. They're so stinking adorable. How cute is she? <laughs> Uh, but I don't think we need little kids for the farmhouse or country. Let's see. That one's pretty. I think I might use that one. So what I like to do with these is I'll punch a hole and I'm going to put it right here. And then I like to find like a little piece of lace or ribbon or something to tie into a hole that I punch down here. So let me find something that I want to go in there. I usually like to use like a thin ribbon in those types. Um, because you don't want it to be too bulky in that. So I'm just trying to find a little piece of thin ribbon. I think I like the yellow. So we'll just cut us a little piece of yellow ribbon. And I'm just going to loop it through this little hole here. And it just adds a little touch of decoration. Just like that. Okay, so we're just going to flip through and figure out, okay, we need something here, or we need something here, or we need something here. That's kind of the process that I go through. Now, I do have, I have these two little cards, um, they're like greeting cards that I want to use in the journal because, I mean, that screams country recipe book, and look at the sweet little pigs. <laughs> How cute are they? And then we'll use the envelopes as um, pockets. Okay, so we're just going to keep flipping. And I like those pages just like they are. I like that one just like it is. Alright, on this one, we need some washi. Because I want to put some washi on the edge of that page. So let's see. What kind of washi do we want? I don't really have any country kind of washi. You would think that I would, but I don't. But that one's cute. Let's use these little flowers. Oh, this one's a pain. I don't know if I can get this one to work or not. For some reason, this one wants to stick real bad on me. And I don't know if it's because this box of washi that I have sits on my top shelf. And it's right by the heat vent. So I don't know if it's melting the glue on the washi or what it's doing but let's see if we can get it to pull off of here okay it looks like it might be trying to do pretty good so let me just scoop my little basket over here for a second and we're just gonna tape him down And we're going to go as far as our tape will let us. And I jinxed myself. <laughs> let me see if I can pull this out again. What a pain. So annoying. I 
It's not catching the edge. I may have to throw this one away because I am not dealing with this all the time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, that might be better. All right, so we're just going to put that down there. I'm going to cut off this piece that went crazy on me and get rid of it. All right, now I've stuck it to my wallpaper that's in behind, but that's okay because washi comes off. Yay. All right, and then I'm just going to snip it right here, and then we're just going to fold him over. So that gives a little decoration to the edge of the page and it reinforces that little spot where it was weak so that one's good okay now we need to find something to go in this pocket um i have all kinds of goodies here that um my sweet friend Carolyn sent me, so I am going to use some of them. She sent me these bridge tally cards, so I think I want to use one of these. And we'll stick him in here. And then I have some of these Sarah Lee, or Sandra Lee, recipe cards. I only have two of these left, but I think that one will be cute in there with the color on it. So we'll put that one. What else do we want in here? We want a tag. I need a tag. Oh, I know what I have. Hang on, let me put this washi back up because it's in the way. Okay, so I had these pieces left that I said that I might cut up and, and do something with. I may make a belly band or something with this one. But I think it would be cute to use one of these. And then some of these little journaling cards. Ooh, and the recipe cards. Those are cute. So let me just cut some of these out. I'm going to pause you while I cut so I don't waste my time on my video. Okay, so I've got all of my goodies cut out. And I think on this one, I'm going to use this in this pocket, but I want to round the corners of it. And I do want to go around the edges with some ink. Cute. I always like to put something with a little color in it too though. Let me see what I got that's got some color. I don't know. We need some like some blue or something, don't we? Because we have the burgundy, so you don't want red in there. Ooh, I think I know. Oh yeah. I like this one. We're gonna make a tag with this. And I think I want a tall tag. Hang on, guys. It won't take me but just a second to get this tag cut. Okay, let me see if he's too long. Yeah, he's too long. So let me trim him off at the bottom some. It's what I get for eyeballing, ain't it? <laughs> I'm so bad about that. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, and I think I want to round the corners at the bottom of this one. 
And I think I want to put a doily at the top. Maybe just a little white dolly. I have some teeny tiny ones. You will have these. That'd be super cute, wouldn't it? Let me see if I can get the staples out of here without tearing my dolly. Why in the world would they put staples in it? I got these at the thrift store. The Habitat for Humanity. And I think I might, I might sew this on to the top, you know, just kind of fold it over like that. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, hang on, I'm going to sew this on. Okay, I got it sewed on, and it makes just a cute little topper, and then she can write on the back of it, or put a picture, or whatever she wants to use it for. And I think I'm going to slide that little dolly over the top of that tag. Okay. Next pocket. So this is the process. We're going to fill as many pockets as we can in our 30 minute video time. And then we'll go to the next one. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to add these little pockets and, and cards and stuff. So as I'm flipping, I'm constantly thinking about that too, as far as where I want those. I don't know, for some reason, I keep wanting to put maybe an envelope or something here. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe we will, we don't want the peach one because that'll kind of clash with the red. Let's use the white one. We can use the white envelope, maybe like right here. And if we decorate our envelope, and make him super cute so I think what I'll do I'm gonna go ahead and punch the holes and put our envelope in and then we can come back in a later video maybe and decorate the envelope if y'all want to see that if you don't need to see that just let me know and I can do that off camera okay but I like to put several pockets in my journals so that people have plenty of places to tuck stuff. So we can put that one there. And then she'll have a place to put some memoirs in there. Okay, so we need something for this pocket. And we have a cow here. So what do we have to go with Mr. Cow? Do we have any kind of a card? Okay, I have these vintage, really yellowed um, flashcards. We're going to put one of those in there. I have these really big um, recipe cards. That might fit in this pocket. I'm gonna. I'm trying to find one that would kind of match. Let me see if he'll go in that. Oh yeah, he will go in that pocket. So these these I found at a thrift store. It's from Great American Recipes. Um, and usually, you know, if you can cook the item in the microwave, like on this one, it'll tell you how to microwave it. Um, but this one says you can't microwave it. And who can microwave potato wedges? So we're going to tuck that one in there, and I think I have, I have some little guest checks that are coffee dyed that I would like to tuck in there, and I want to put something at the top of one of these, just as a little added decoration, just to add something in there, maybe a little piece of fabric, or you know what, I'm going to put a piece of fabric at the top of this, so hang on, I'm going to sew it on. Okay, so we have... I just sewed just a little snippet of fabric onto the top of there. And it's just to add a little decoration or a little something, you know, a little color. So we have that. That pocket's finished. So we're going to move on. And Okay, sorry about that. I had a sneezing fit. <laughs> it just hit out of nowhere. Okay, so on this page... Um, 
I want to attach something to this page. I don't want to sew anything on or glue anything on, but I want to attach something to it because it's just so plain white. And so I have this cute card and I think I want to attach the card here. It's a blank card, so she can use it wherever she wants to use it, but it'll just add a little decoration or something to here. So I'm trying to find, I have these cute paper clips that I made a long time ago, actually. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. Let's see which one matches the best. I think I like this one the best. And this is just made out of um, the little coin um, coin rollers for money. And so I just put a little, a little snippet of lace back there and a piece of little tiny piece of fabric. And then this was just some extra twine I had laying around and I'll just put a little button on the top. It's fairly easy to make these. So I am just going to clip him on here. And I like clipping some things on so that, um, the recipient can move things around and put them where they want them. And then also, this gives me a little spot to put one of my scriptures. So I am going to add a scripture here. So, and I usually put a scripture in each of the pockets, so I'll need to go back and do that. But for now, all right, so let's put these back in our little box so we've got something on this page. Now, I need to go find the next spot that needs something. I love this rooster. He's so adorable. On this page, I think I might use this little pocket on this page. Just as a little something. This was actually in a Reader's Digest book. So, it was just a little something that was stuck in the Reader's Digest book. So, I thought, well, how cute that'd be in the little pocket. So, we're just going to make him a pocket. Or a tuck or whatever you want to call it. So, we'll just put it right there. And then I can find something here to tuck into the little pocket. I don't want something huge. Um, maybe something little. Okay. I have this cute little library pocket that I had um, sewed some lace onto. Or just a little snippet of lace onto. That's cute. But I want something with some color. I need some red. I want some red here. I have... I have this red. I definitely, I think I want this red. So I want to make like a folding tag with this one. Or do I just want to make a straight tag? Maybe I'll make a straight tag. Let me see. sometimes I just like to make a tag like this and round the corners this might be too long let me see no I like that so then I'll take um, like a piece of ribbon or something at the top or a piece of fabric um, if I have a little strip of fabric over here somewhere I have this I think I might can rip it. Let me try. And then I'm just going to fold this. Let me get these strings off because that's going to drive me crazy. Let me see if I can straighten out the fabric a little bit just by rubbing it on the edge of my desk. There we go. That's a little better. I'm going to try one more time. And it just makes it quit curling a little bit if you just rub it across the edge of your desk. Okay. So I want to do this like this. He still wants to curl right here.
and I am going to staple him at the top right here getting it as centered as you can I want to spread that out just a little bit okay it's not wanting to cooperate very well let's see what we can do here <clears throat> okay just like that and then we're going to put a button or something right here what do we want on there? Yep. I have some pliers in here that remove sharp shanks. Not pliers. You know, the little cutter things. I always have a problem getting these out of this little jug when I am on camera. What is up with that? little trick y'all want to know why i have a, a toothbrush in this little tub because when you do your um your cricket not cricket cuddle bug with the die cuts if you brush over it it gets all the little pieces out with a toothbrush so maybe one day i'll do like a little series on tools or whatever not that i'm an expert or anything i've still got so much to learn I don't think you ever stop learning in the crafting world. There's always something new you can learn. And I want some, I want something under there. And I think we're going to go with, I got too much, but that's okay. We're going to put some eyelash trim up under there. These are the little tiny details that take so long. But it is so worth it when you're finished because it comes out so super cute. Okay, I got glue everywhere. And that's sticking to me. Okay. So what do y'all think about that? Just a cute little tag topper. I don't know if I have this zoomed in or I don't know it just seems to not give me as much room as I usually have on the camera okay so we have something in that pocket we're gonna leave the little readers digest thing in this pocket so we're gonna move on to the next kind of want something here what do we want here something little like a card or something my friend Carolyn sent me a whole box of goodies and I got it yesterday I did the, the flip through but I just love all this stuff so much and I think it would be super cool to share some of it so I pulled a bunch of it out of the box and I'm going to use it in the journal. So I'm just going through it. You know what? I have some really cute, these cards she sent me are just so stinking adorable. I absolutely love them. I hate to punch a hole in them. Maybe I'll just use them in pockets. I'm not going to use the western looking ones in here. But there's ones I'm trying to get to. Here we go. I'm getting to them now. Meadow. This one says Meadow Farm Dairy. Okay, I knew I had, had some <clears throat> little ladies quilting somewhere in here, but it's the envelopes, not the cards. So let me see which one we want to use. Okay. 
I think these are Oh look, there's one with the barn, and there's one with the farmer. Maybe we need to use those. Look how cool that is. I just don't think I can punch a hole in these though. They are just in pristine condition. I don't think I can do it. Maybe I'll put them in pockets. Okay, sorry for that, but um, you know, you have to take time and, and do things like that when you're making your journal. So it takes time. It's not a fast process. Okay, we're gonna put one of these in here. Where's my hole punch? Sometimes I just want something to break up the page, you know? We're gonna put this one at the top. <clears throat> and you don't always have to put the little hole in the bottom and put the, um, the little ribbon in it. But I like to do that most of the time. Okay, we're getting hung up here. We're hung in our binder. Let me open that. Okay, try that again. No ripping pages. Okay, this is where I wanted the belly band. So I can take that off. And I made a belly band that I want to go in here. And what I did was I just took some pieces of the fabric that I used in the book and I had left over. And I just sewed them together in a line in different angles. So I just sewed that all together and put it on the paper. And then we're just going to make us a cute little belly band out of this. I don't really like using fabric for a belly band because fabric tends to be really loose. And so belly bands, you know, it's hard to get things to hold in a belly band anyway. So let me just make sure I get this in here straight. So I like to back it onto, you know, some kind of cardstock or something to give it a little more sturdy hold. Okay. Trying to decide what we want in the belly band. Let me see what my time's at. We're at 27 minutes. Okay, well, you kind of get the gist of what you do. You go through, you, um, you know, you add your pockets, and then you start filling your pockets. I think I got my belly band crooked here. There we go. Um, so you add your pockets and do all of that. <clears throat> then you start filling your pockets and doing little extra things to decorate your pockets. That's not big enough. I want something big in here to slide up under here. Maybe we'll do one of these big recipe cards again. And what you can do on these, what I like to do on these when I'm going to slide them into like a little side pocket like this is I'll take a piece of paper. Oh, and this will be cute because it matches the belly band. So I'm just going to fold this little piece of paper in half and I'm going to make myself a topper up here. And you can sew it or you can staple it. This one I'm going to staple. And that way it makes it easier to pull it in and out of your belly band. And then I think I might want to put one of these little recipe cards. This is from um, my Seven Gypsies paper. You get the whole sheet. So you get all kinds of different... Um, recipe cards in it that one's cute that one's cute. they're all cute so I think that's all of those so um, I think I want to I think I want to use one of these so we'll round the corners and if you round it And we'll slide him in. And I'm going to leave him in there kind of little sideways. Just so the word recipe shows. So, that's the process of adding things in your pockets. And um, I'm leaving these pages. I think I'm going to leave them for Nan. So she can decide what she wants to do with them. I am going to put a belly band here though. 
or I actually might pull it, put it like a full pocket here. Let me see. I think I would like to use this and make a full pocket over this page because, you know, icicles just does not go with this. So I'll probably make a full pocket out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here because I know now that you kind of I mean, of course, you get the gist. You know how to do this. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And then, um, I'm trying to think of what all we have left to do. I just need to finish, you know, filling in pockets. And, I mean, you guys can tell me if you want me to do the video on that. But by the time you see this video, I will already have. <laughs> I already mostly have it done, so I don't know how we want to do that. Well, anyways, I know we're going to have to come back and do some stuff, so I'm going to end this video. I'll let it start loading, and then I'll just start videoing again, and you guys can, you know, if you're bored with it, you don't have to watch it, but it'll be there for you to watch it if you want to, so... All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Um, leave me any comments or questions that you have below. And thanks for watching. Big hugs.